Um, so what we're going to discuss today is mixing tile sets. Now we can see here we have our basic criteria tile set. Uh, we've got this basic uh, graphic set. Uh, we got the terrible red criteria. Um, still, it's the same tile set, just different palettes. And remember that the CRE is completely different from the scenery uh, graphics. Um, so you could just move move on and you can find your uh, different tile sets um, with different a lot of them have different palette versions so just by scrolling through you'll find all these things now what we're going to try to do and accomplish is we want to mix tile sets we want say if you're like me you're terrible at drawing graphics um, but you want to make something that looks different and unique. Add some more flavor to a tile set or any, any something like that. So we're going to uh, mix some tile sets. And this is a very easy thing to do. It's a very good way to add some flavor to your hack. Add, it adds some more visual interest. And you can do a lot of really creative stuff. If you've ever uh, seen any of uh, Digital Mantra's hacks, uh, Cliffhanger or Eris, he doesn't draw any of the tiles, it's just he combines tile sets and then places them in a way that does weird things. So if you go to tools and graphics editor, uh, this here is your tile sheet for your scenery on the right here. Down here is the CRE, we're ignoring that because that's shared across all rooms. This is basically what we want to look at. So we've got this here out of this is where all these tiles come from so we need to combine it somehow this is where the other programs come in but in order to get to that point uh, basically what we need to do we need to go into this GFX the scenery and then we want to export this and this will tell us you know it's ripped to right here and it gives us the uh, tile set number as well so it's like oh okay now the next thing we need to do is rip the tile set that we want to add in the tiles we want from this. So let's say we want to do it with this one. So again, tools, graphics editor. And here we see the tile sheet or the uh, scenery. And here we can actually see there's some spare tiles that haven't been used, whereas the Norfair one was full. So this, this one is a good candidate for adding more tiles. So let's export this one. And again, you can do this with any of these. You don't need these X's. Um, it's just if you don't have any space like this, you'll have to decide which tiles to replace later on. So for instance, let's say we didn't want any of these rocks. That would give us, we could overwrite these with different tiles, give us that space. We could do that with the broken glass if we don't plan on using that. Do the same with the mushrooms, so on and so forth. So for now, that is it with Smile. We are basically done with that for now. Now we've got TLP. Um, basically, what we need to do here is... I have to remember where this thing was ripped. <laughs> it told you the pathway where it was ripped, so... Um, okay, so I've got, here, let me move that where you can see it. Um, I'm in the folder where I've ripped the graphics. Uh, you can see I've already done some uh, rip before. Um, but these are the two I just did, tile set three and tile set 10. So three is gonna be my base. This is the one I'm gonna keep. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm also going to over here and open up 10. And with TLP, you get all these uh, windows for your tile editing stuff. Uh, this I don't particularly need for this instance. Okay, so um, this might be different for other tile sets. Again, I'm not too familiar with the other ones because um, I mostly use TLP here. Um, but I imagine they all have a view. And as, as you can tell, um, this is not what we ripped. This looks like garbage. 
that's because we need to change the format. And now you can see the tiles in here. That that looks a lot more like what we ripped. And if you wanted to, there's something else you could do with Smile. If you go into the uh, graphics editor, uh, you can go into palette. You can also export the palette. So now that we've done that, we can load that palette and it'll show up like this. And now you can see we've got the palette. So yeah, that looks more like a thing now. This one, let's change the view on this one. And again, this this will be the same across, this at least will be the same across the tile editing platforms. Uh, you need, they'll probably all have a view because they're built for more than just SNES, so. And even in Super Metroid, uh, sometimes you'll need to go into like Game Boy mode, which we're not gonna cover that today, but that is something you might end up needing to do. So here is our uh, tile sheet we ripped for uh, Super Metroid number 10. And again, we don't really need these. So let's just get them out of the way here. So over here's my base. Um, and I've got this spare stuff and we are gonna grab the bubbles because why wouldn't you? That's a bit better. So yeah, I, but you can load the other palette and see, you know, how some things might look with just that palette. A lot of times, as you can see, they won't transition to another palette that will great. Well, there's things that might look okay, but overall they're just like, eh, not really sure. So that is something to keep in mind. There, A lot of times there will be some palette work you have to do. Um, it's it's just something you, you have to live with, with this because it doesn't like stuff. So you can look around, grab other tiles if you want. Uh, you can do this with as many tile sets as you want. If you just wanted the bubbles from this, if you just wanted, um, let's say, the background from this, and you know, I had this other one here. Let's see what 15 was. So this looks like terrain here. So if I just wanted to add bubbles and then this background tile into here, I could. I'd have to replace some things, but you know, it's, it's possible. This is something you could end up doing. So you can combine 20 tile sets into one tile sheet if you want to. So that is not limited at all. Um, but let's see, I got my, uh, nope, I do not want to save any changes there. Um, I got my uh, tile sheet here, so let's... We're, we will save this one as... Um, let's say mix one. And now we've got this uh, tile sheet saved. We are now done with TLP. Or our tile editing program of choice. Now we want to go back into the graphics editor. Um, scenery, and now we want to import scenery. And here, you can see we've got our mix one. We do this, it'll tell us our recompressed size. Uh, this might come into play if you need space or whatever. Um, a lot of times you might need to repoint the tile sets, which is a huge thing. It's a big mess. Uh, there is a patch that'll repoint the uh, first 20 tile sets for you that DSO has made. Um, that might be useful. For you. Uh, but here this is all we added so it really didn't do too much overall. Um, we've kept basically everything else the same. They're in the same spots so this will pull it like normal. Basically we just have bubbles now. Now a thing we might want to do is just look at the pellets. Uh, we might see what other things use these palettes, which you know, it looks like these use six, but they only use the first three. So it looks like we have a good candidate for making some more purple bubbles here. So we could change the palette. 
uh, to fit our needs. Uh, we've also got a decent looking palette there. It's going to match the rest of this here pretty well though. But it's something we can mess with. But basically this is how you mix the tile sets. Once you uh, combine your tile sets, this is what you're going to end up having to do is mess with this. Uh, rebuild your tile sheets, especially like if you do mix 20 of them together, um, your tile table, which is what draws these tiles into here, which is what you put in the game, or in your rooms rather, um, your tile table is going to be pulling tiles from 20 different tile sets, um, from tiles that are mixed all over the place, so it's going to look like a bunch of garbage in here. So you're going to have to rebuild your tile set. So, you see, we added bubbles in. Let's go back here. And you can see, we've got bubbles in our tile set now. We added them in. It's it's a fairly simple process to mix the tile sets. That's not an issue at all. As you can see, um, that's not going to be where any uh, dragging down is going to happen. Um, it's basically really just going to your tile set number, opening up the graphics editor, exporting the scenery, and then doing that for every tile set you want. Uh, then combining them together in the outside program like TLP and then coming back in to your ROM uh, Going back in here and then importing that The hard part is going to be when you mix multiple tile sets together, especially when it's more than uh, One <laughs> More than one tile set and your base tile set uh, filled the whole graphic sheet And you've got a bunch of new tiles in there uh, your tile table just won't work. You're gonna have to rebuild everything that's going to be the hard part. So again, the mixing of tile sets, it's very basic, it's very simple. Anybody can really do this, it's not difficult at all. Uh, just keep in mind there will be some extra work after you mix them with the uh, tile sheet and the tile table in here. Um, and you're likely going to have to mess with pallets quite a bit too if you really want to get into it. So, so but that's your uh, basic tutorial. It's very simple. Uh, I definitely recommend doing it. There is quite a bit of work involved when you really get into it. But the payoff is really worth it.